the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is the story of all the guitar gear from the past year. I'm not using that. Who wrote this? Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hope you had a... Wrote that. Oh, okay, make sure I say hope you had a good year. Hey, how's it going? I hope you had a good year. So the year isn't completely over yet, but this is going to be a wrap-up video and just going through all the gear that I've checked out through the year. So we'll talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. This doesn't mean it's new gear. Like, it doesn't mean it came out this past year. It just means it's new to me and that I checked it out. So, for the first time. So it's new-ish. And I just want to say something. There, I did it. I just want to say one thing about YouTubers and gear and stuff like that. There's an assumption, and I see it in the comments once in a while. People assume that because you're on YouTube, when you do a product demo, that the uh, the item has been like touched up and like it's special or something like that. I just want to make uh, make it clear that yeah, for sure, all of it, totally. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I buy probably 75% of the stuff that I review, so it's just regular customer stuff that I went into a store or I ordered online. Nobody knows I'm on YouTube, so it's just stuff. I went back through all the videos I've done in the past year, so we're gonna go month to month. If I miss anything, just leave me a comment. And say, hey, didn't, you didn't talk about that video that you did. We'll talk about each thing, and we'll talk about what I thought, if I can even remember what I thought. And then I'll have all the links to the videos in the description. You can go check out those uh, videos after. Sometimes people are like, hey, did you review that thing? And I'm like, yeah, I just did it like last month. And I don't expect everybody to know every video that comes out. And that's not possible. You just, you know, the YouTube uh, screen doesn't have a good listing of everything. Oh yeah, it does, Never mind. I made a note here, it says, look at iPad. So I'm looking at my iPad as I read the description. I can't remember all this stuff. Let's start, let's go January. So we started off the year, beautiful, Winter, January, I don't remember. And the first guitar I checked out was the Gaudin Stadium HT. That name, Gaudin, which is the way you say it, it's not, I'm not saying go day, which people write, people write G-O-D-A-Y. I'm not saying go day, I'm saying ga dang, like uh, it's French. Anyways, Gaudin Stadium HT. Um, so was that good, bad, or ugly? That was good, that guitar. I tell you, I did two videos on it. I did an unboxing and then I did a full deep dive. That guitar exceeded my expectations and I didn't really have any expectations other than people said, hey, you gotta check out Gaudet. They're really good. And I did and I was super impressed by it. So I felt it was like the quality of that guitar was at like the Fender Pro level, Pro 2 guitars. The next one, we're still in January here. The next guitar was a planned giveaway and I bought it because I'm like, this would be cool to give away. It was called the Hofner Shorty. And was this good, bad, or ugly? This goes on the ugly list. This is worse than bad, it's ugly. Yeah, I, I hated it so much, I returned it right after the video. I didn't even get through the uh, to the deep dive. I, I did the unboxing and I checked it out and I just really did not like it. Why didn't I like it? You'll have to watch the video, I don't remember. But uh, I just remember I didn't like it, so. Still in January, I checked out the Squire Stratocaster pack. And these are one of those kits that you get, like a beginner set, where you get the guitar and you get the amplifier, and you get all the accessories, you get a cable, you get a strap, uh, do you get picks? Can't remember if there's anything else, but the idea was I wanna check one of these out and then I'm gonna give it away. So I did that, uh, it was good. It was totally fine. From memory, the guitar was somewhere between like an affinity and a bullet in terms of quality. So it was a good guitar. And I think I, uh, the winner gave it to his daughter, I'm pretty sure. So it's exactly what you'd expect. I just always wanted to check out one of those kits. They pack it in this giant box that actually has like two guitar boxes stuck in it. One's empty. And I used that in a stupid video to say like, hey, this is the new Squire Air guitar. That's pretty stupid, but uh, that's me. Moving on, we're in February. And this is where things changed from January to February. The first guitar I checked out, and this is one I hadn't really planned on buying, but it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. And then I'm like, ah, I'm gonna get it. The Fender Pro 2 Tele. This is beyond good. So yeah, good, bad, or ugly, beyond good. I wrote that. Best, it's the best guitar this year. Wait, we'll see. It's in the Dark Knight finish. It's part of the Pro 2 series. They have the most amazing necks, in my opinion. And the V-Mod 2 pickups, I think they sound awesome. Sounded great with every amp, with every pedal. With everything, everything I threw at it. I even threw the kitchen sink, so that was a great guitar. Then we, uh, then we toned it down a little bit, right? I got the Squire Bullet Mess. 
Is that a, is that a model? I got the Squire Bullet Mustang in Imperial Blue. I think the, the blue is what attracted me. Good, bad, or ugly? Good. It was good. It was the cheapest Squire model available. I got it on Amazon, and I also did a giveaway. Is there anything I didn't give away? That worked out. That was a good guitar. Cool little guitar. Check them out. If you want a thin, small, short scale, Squire Fender model, and had humbuckers, they're ceramic, so I remember them being pretty, pretty scratchy and loud, which is a good thing if you're going for that. And then before the end of February, this was this next guitar, it was something I had worked on getting for at least six months. I think they were out of stock. So there's a company in the UK called Vintage. And I think that name is really confusing because it's, it's not a vintage guitar, it's the, actually the brand name. So Vintage V52BS. And where'd that fall on the good, bad, or ugly? It fell on the bad side, in my opinion. Um, and the reason was it just had too many cosmetic issues on right off the bat. Uh, I think it was missing a pick guard screw and uh, something else. I can't remember now. I had higher expectations for that guitar because it was priced higher than a Squire Classic Vibe. So I assumed, yeah, it's going to be like a player series or something. I also didn't get along with the wider neck, but that's just a personal preference. So it was, um, it was a disappointment because I had higher expectations. So if you go into something, you know, sometimes you're let down. But anyways, uh, ended up selling that one. Didn't give it away. I did, uh, oh, I know what it was. The electronics were terrible too. They were super scratchy pots. So I ended up swapping out the electronics with uh, obsidian wire. I think I did a four-way kit and then I sold it. I didn't want to sell it with the uh, existing wiring. I felt it was that bad. Then we got into March. March is, uh, I'm born in March. So it's my favorite month. Not really, it's kind of bland. But uh, I checked out a Vox AC10 and I bought that from Sweetwater. And good, bad, or ugly, it was good, really good. I didn't end up keeping it. I, uh, I moved it along. You know, I wanted the Vox tone for a little bit and then uh, kind of got over it and then it was gone. All right, we're skipping a couple months here. We're going into May. And this is where I got a PRS SE Custom 24 in Bonnie Pink. It's good, bad, or ugly, really good, really good. My first PRS and I enjoyed it. All right. Check out that video if you want to see all about it. There's two videos. Actually, there's an unboxing video and then a full deep dive video. And then summertime came around. It was June. We're already into June, halfway through the year. And look at all the stuff I've checked out. I got a Pro, a Fender Pro 2 Strat, and it was really good. Now, this one is a little bit um, unique because it's actually a neck and a body that I bought from the Stratosphere Parts, which is a website or a company in the United States. And you can buy cannibalized guitars you can buy parts basically that are stripped down new like they buy a new guitar and they take it apart they saw it in half so you can buy half a guitar no uh, about the neck and the body and they don't normally sell that the neck and that body combination so it's kind of a unique guitar and uh, oh it's right there right there you can see it there but go check out the videos after just you know after this video is done go bookmark all the videos and then just play all. All right, and then uh, I was, so I was up here with the Strat and then I'm like, let's bring it down a little bit. Down, like down there. And I got a Donner DTC 100S. And uh, my expectations were pretty much met. So I'd say it's good. Oh, did I say the Pro 2 was good? Yeah, it's Pro, 2 was, Pro 2 Strat was good. So the Donner was good. Uh, you can check out that video. I bought a lefty version, so doesn't make any sense. You gotta go see the video to understand. Now we're in the hot, steamy month of July. At least here in Canada it was. And uh, I got a Fishman Fluence Greg Cock Gristle Tone Wiring Kit. It's a lot of words. And I stuck that inside my purple telly that I had at the time. And I'm gonna say it's good. It's really cool. It's got like a, has a power supply that did like active and passive tones. So you could have like the, the active tone would bump it up. And then the passive tone was just like normal Telecaster tones. It was pretty cool. Ended up selling that guitar, so that's moved along. Still in July, this is towards the end, end of July, I remember all of a sudden I got in this big Squire, Squire fix. I don't know what was going on, all these new Squire models. So I tried the Squire Affinity Telecaster Deluxe. I bought that from a store. It was good, it was really good. They've basically upped, from what I know, there used to be a, a Squire standard line. I think they've taken the Affinity line and it's basically replaced it, so. The headstock had a gloss to it. Uh, the pickup sounded good. The body shape was really cool. Had like um, a belly carve. And yeah, it was good. Now in, into August, it was all Telly, or no, that's, I don't know why I'm saying all Telly. It was all Squire, all Fender that month. So 
I checked out the uh, Squire Affinity Stratocaster and it was good. Had a really cool plus top and a lot of people told me that's the old standard model from Squire. I'm like, yeah, I think you're right. Probably is. Then I checked out uh, Squire Paranormal Supersonic. Good, bad, or ugly? This one's in the ugly for me. And I mean, it is ugly, but something about the blue sparkle appealed to me. I'm like, I'm gonna give it a shot, you know? Um, ugly guitars deserve a chance too. And uh, I didn't get along with it. It just didn't work out for me. <coughs> oh, I hate sneezing. So that was ugly. That was ugly too, ugly sneeze. Next, still in August, I checked out the Squire Affinity Telecaster. And that was the blue one. Lake Placid Blue, it was really nice too. The Squire Affinity stuff is, is up their level and it was really good. I can just see that the microphone peaked when I sneezed. That's awesome. So that was good. And then I checked out another Paranormal series guitar, the Squire Paranormal Cyclone. And I really liked it, it was good. It was kind of like a Strat plus I think Mustang or Jaguar, no, I think Jaguar controls and uh, I can't remember exactly now, Strat. Jaguar and Mustang body, that's what it was. So it was like they combined three types of Fender models and stuck it together. And it sounded really good, the neck was really good. And um, yeah, I liked it. Still in August, this is the last one for August. I did another giveaway. This was a Fender JA90. It's the Jim Adkins signature telly. It was a, a Sweetwater giveaway. The guitar was really good. It's really not a Fender guitar. It's like, it's made by Fender, but it's pretty much a Telecaster that swallowed a, a Les Paul or something. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's got all the specs of a Les Paul, uh, Les Paul uh, guitar. I don't know what I, what I was thinking of. And it looks like a Telecaster, but it's, it's different. And P90 pickup, so that was really cool. And somebody won that. Uh, I don't remember who, but somebody won it. And it was a giveaway. So that, there we go. Now we got into fall. We got into the fall September. The leaves are falling, the air is getting a little bit cooler. So I'm like, you know what, be perfect. Let's check out some microphones. So I got some microphones from Sennheiser and uh, three different kinds. I got the E609, the E906, and the MK421. Probably got the numbers all wrong on those. It's probably not even close. Or I got it perfect. How did I do? Let me know. Anyways, I checked out those microphones. I'm currently using two of them. One of them uh, I'm not using um, because that's what two is. Then the two, three minus two is one. So that's one and uh, some good math. The MK421, or the 1412, I use that for my weekly live streams. The E906, I use it to mic my Princeton back here. Is it, is it set up right now? Yeah, it's hanging there. The E609, I use it to uh, strain noodles. No, I, I sold it. Okay, let's move on. They were good. Am I, am I even keeping up with my own thing here? And then, we're still in September, and the air is getting cooler and the leaves are falling, I already said that. Earlier in the year, I bought a pedal. I bought a Boss DD8. I think I got it from Sweetwater, in fact. That's in fact. And I'm like, you know what? It's been about four years, let's do a pedal demo, because it's time. So I took the DD8, and I set it up, and I did a DD8 pedal demo on YouTube, on this channel. And I don't know why I said that. And then I remembered, so I, I did the video, and awesome pedal, really good, really, really good. And then I released the video and it got like 10 views or something. And I'm like, that's why I don't do pedals demos. Pedals, pedals demos. Don't do the demos for the pedals. Anyways, good pedal, really cool. And then we're getting towards the end of September. And uh, it's been a year since these Tone Masters came out, the, t the Fender Tone Master amps. And I'm like, I gotta try one out. So sold a bunch of gear. I think that's actually where the Vox AC10 went towards. And I got a Fender Tone Master Deluxe Reverb Blonde. So it had the different speaker, it had the different color. It's a blonde finish. And I really liked it. It was really, really cool. Um, so that's good. That was a good. All right, moving into October. And I'm like thinking of Halloween. I'm like, it's October. That's usually the first thing that comes to mind in October. So I, I saw this thing. Actually, Amazon totally got me. They, uh, I, I subscribed to Amazon Prime. So I got the email and it's like, hey, look at this thing. Squire Mini Stratocaster in exclusive Daphne Blue. And I'm like, what? It was like 240 bucks or something. So I bought it. I'm like, oh, cool. And then I was so intrigued when I was waiting for it. I'm like, what is that thing on the back? I made like three videos on this. And uh, there's a little port on the back. I'm like, why does it have that? That's not like a Strat thing. So anyways, if you want to check that out, you can go check out those videos. 
and uh, it was good. The Squire Mini Stratocaster was good. I had lower expectations because previous year I just tried a Jazz Master Mini um, from Squire, and I didn't really dig dig it. I didn't dig that pony, but uh, I, I like this one, and I ended up doing a giveaway for that, and uh, a guy won, and he gave it to his daughter, and uh, that was really cool. I'm really glad to see that. So next, moving on, and this is where things this is where things took a turn for the better, because uh, a lot of people are like, hey, can you just can you check out not Fender stuff? I'm like, no, that's all I know. But then I'm like, yeah, okay, I will. Here we go. So we're still in October. And I checked out a Fender Les Paul Modern. That's a great guitar. That is like one of the best Les Pauls. For me anyways, it's light. The fit and finish was really, really nice. Go check out the video. It's really, really cool. One of my favorites. So then we got into November and it's uh, getting colder and the leaves are still in the trees for some reason. I don't know what's going on with the, the weather these days, but I it was supposed to be cold. It started to get colder. Then I checked out um, the D'Angelico Premier Mini DCXT from Sweetwater. They sent me one to demo. And that thing, I gotta say, that's uh, one of the highlights of the year. That's beyond good. I had no idea about that brand. Didn't know anything about those guitars. I also wasn't into semi hollow guitars or hollow guitars. And uh, man, that thing exceeded my expectations. So go check out that video. Really, really nice guitar. And then, I wanted to continue on trying new stuff. I'm like, what else What else could I try? What's what's something that's not me? When people say like, hey, you just do Telecasters. I'm like, yeah, well, here's an Epiphone SG Special. So I bought that one, it was on special. It was literally on special. It was like on sale, 50 bucks off. So I got that and I say it's good. It's, it's what I expected. It's uh, the entry level Epiphone guitars. And uh, a lot of people have experience with them that say, hey, they're great for modding and stuff like that. So you can go check out that video if you wanna see it. And then, then uh, I tried out this, I bought this amplifier and people are like, you got to try out this amplifier. And I think I actually got the wrong one. The Roland Cube 10GX. Apparently I should have got the micro. I think that's the one people wanted to see. That thing was ugly. This is all, all around ugly. You can watch the video. You can see my first impressions. Um, it looks okay. I, I'm, I'm not talking about the, uh, the cosmetics. I don't mind the, the look of it. It's just dated. It's like, it's an older amp. It's, I think 2014 it came out. I just couldn't get the tones to work with uh, my setup and uh, maybe it works for you or somebody else. Anyways, ugly. Continuing on with the SGs, I'm like, I got a plan here. I'm going to do like a bunch of SG comparisons. So Epiphone SG Standard, I got that. Bought one of those to do a comparison with the other uh, Epif or the other SG. And I I'm going to say good. A lot of people complained about the veneer on top, which I didn't even notice until people complained about the veneer on top. I'm like, oh, it's... This guitar plays really well and it's set up nicely and the fit and finish is really nice. So if you can get if you can get over the cosmetics and that thing, if you're not superficial and and so I don't know, guitars it's it's half superficial anyways. That was still the, that was November. So November ended and then uh, December came around and we're in December. What's the date today? Just to uh, timestamp this, this is Tuesday, December seventh right now. So I don't know when this video is going to come out, but then I. Uh, I watched the Beatles Get Back documentary two weeks ago, and I watched it a little bit more. I probably, probably watched it one and a half times, certain parts. And then I'm like, ah, okay, I've been wanting to try out one of these for a long time. And I got an Epiphone Casino in a natural finish. And it's good. I'm going to say it's good. A lot of people, uh, it's, it's uh, a mixed bag on uh, those guitars. I see people hate them or they love them. It's not for everybody. It's not your solid body electric guitar that's gonna, you know, plug in and just rock. It's got its, it's got its audience, and it's. Uh, I'm gonna say it's like a rhythm guitar. It's right here, right, right there. This is a rhythm songwriter player guitar, and you're probably wondering, okay, so there's other gear that you didn't talk about, and uh, I just haven't done a video on it yet, so I don't want to really talk about it yet. Like this SG from Gibson right here, and uh, that. Uh, blonde Princeton behind there. Those are in the future. They're coming up, but uh, I don't think they might not make it out this year. So that's how it works. These videos take forever. I don't know how long this video took. This video probably took days and years. Not literally though. I'm not, I'm not joking. These videos take, they're so time consuming. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. If there's anything else I didn't talk about, if I missed anything, let me know, leave a comment below. Let me know also, 
I was gonna catch my breath. It's a lot of talking. I don't talk this much in real life. This isn't real life. This is a computer. Okay, now I turn this over to you. In the past year, what cool gear have you tried out and that you found was good or bad or ugly? And it doesn't matter if it's new, it doesn't matter if it's used, it doesn't matter if it's a new product, if it's something that's vintage, old, you know, it doesn't matter. Just something new to you, meaning you've, you know, first time trying it and uh, you could have just borrowed it, don't have to even buy it. So let me know. That's cool. All right. Hope that was, uh, hope you liked that. Actually, I don't care because I liked it. It's all that matters. I'm doing this for me. Remember that. It's all about me I'm pointing at him. Check out uh, all the videos. They're all in the description. All right, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.